Aquarius, let's go ahead and see what's going on for you. This is for the month of February, following the new moon that we just had on February 5th, which was this past Sunday. We're going to see what's pending in the realm of the spirit for you for these current two two weeks in this half of February. And then for the following closing out weeks, um, two weeks for the ending of the month. So basically from now to the 28th health, certain things are going to be coming to play or potentially coming to play for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Divine Cosmic Intelligence of the Universe, please protect me while we channel the message for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus signs Aquarius and Cross Watchers. Let's see what's coming and pending in the realm of the spirit. Thank you for giving us the message, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Anything Aquarius needs to know that's pending. We have the Page of Cups here. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so there could be some good news about some financial opportunity coming in or maybe even an act of kindness might be on the horizon currently playing out some good news about some financial opportunity for some of you this also speaks about charitable works maybe an opportunity to really give back to your community or even to your um the people in your circle your family um maybe even mentoring someone younger than you here two of pentacles is here so Aquarius, this looks like you're in a position where you, um, you're doing well for yourself and you're able, it's almost like you're able to, there's two things, there's things that you're juggling. Yes, you have a lot going on. You might have this very stable and busy job, um, a stable and busy household, but it looks like there is room. There's more time for something. So if you have a passion project, if you have something that you are passionate about, Spirit is saying, um, here that's symbolized here with this infinity symbol on here, you do have the ability to access unlimited resources, unlimited time to do what you want to do on the side even, or to invest in this person or to mentor this child. You have time. Here we have the seven of cups. This also looks like some of your thoughts. It looks like some of your desires um, during this time is potentially to um, help someone in need. Give back. Spread positive energy. The Seven of Cups here talks about many options, but it also speaks about ones that are not so good, that might not be the best option at, at a certain period of time. But I think Spirit is giving you the discernment here to be able to see what's viable, to see your limitations, to see what you can do and what you can't do too. So you have the wisdom, you have the ability to tap into your inner self, your higher self, whether that's through meditation, seeing past the illusion of what can be done and what actually should be done. I see you getting some clarity on what you should do in certain opportunities. And I hit this is a lot, this seems like a lot of thoughts um, or thoughts about actions action plans being taken no minor, no major arcana here quite yet so it does seem like every day um day-to-day -day thoughts or day-to-day -day, um ideas of yours day-to-day -day issues we have the eight of swords here you might be confused on what to do you know you want to help someone it might be someone who's younger than you you might be in a position to where you're going to have to mentor them, kind of like take them in your wing. But you're still kind of confused on how that's going to play out and whether you can really sustain it with this eight of swords here. You don't want to put yourself in a trapped position. Six of cups, so a lot of minor arcana here. OK, so it's, I'm not really seeing anything too major and too like life changing here. But we do have two sixes out here. So the number six could be significant when if, if you're seeing six a lot, pay attention to what your angels and your guys are telling you what you're thinking about at that time when you see this reoccurring six. Um, the number 12 could also be important. If any of you are in like a government position or you have a like a state agency job 
I'm hearing. Maybe you're working with children or there's some kind of opportunity regarding this for you in the future. Six of Cups is a past life energy card, but this number 12 is also significant of government. It's a number of government. So some of you might be coming into an opportunity at a new job by getting employed by a federal agency even. That's what that looks like there. Got the star card. This is you, Aquarius energy. Look at that. This is finally, finally a major arcana, right? And it's you. This is your energy. So I'm seeing like you are around the second half of the month. You are going to be doing some kind of thing in the public eye. Maybe it's teaching classes for children about, I don't know, some of you might be teaching about Black History Month or doing some type of volunteer work with children. And it's it's going to be part of your assignment, your project, like what you're supposed to be doing. Giving back to the community, giving back to your, your church, whatever you're involved in. And you might feel a little overwhelmed, like you don't have enough time to do everything. But Spirit is saying, we've given you exactly the amount that we want you to do that we know you can handle, that we know you can bear. We have the Five of Swords, though. Okay, so some competition here. I'm also seeing that people, this is also indicative of people seeing you doing a certain way and wanting to compete with you. Someone might even see you doing something and then want to spread lies or want to do some kind of competing with you. So be aware of that towards the end of the month. Maybe you like a hater, like a lower level hater that ain't about nothing and want to sit there and watch what you're doing because you're doing something. We got the Page of Swords. Yeah, this is like spy energy now, okay? <laughs> they're spying on you, um, watching your every move, but it's not at a place of... It's almost like they're doing it because they're jealous or they're trying to find something wrong so they can start talking slander or something, start saying something negative about you. We got Gemini energy here at the bottom of the deck with the lovers with the... Um, Queen of, I'm um, sorry, the King of Wands. So this person could be an ex-lover that's keeping an eye on you or uh, someone who is an admirer of you, but they feel like they're out of your league. They can't touch you. It's like they're digging to find out something about you that they'll be like, oh, okay, so that's their issue. So-and-so is not perfect. So-and-so ain't um this completely perfect nurturing um individual there's something wrong with them it's like they're trying to find something wrong i wonder why but this looks good i mean here you are in your garden doing taking care of your business and people are admiring you you might be working with children. You might be having an opportunity working with the government, a federal agency, or this could just be you mentoring someone, investing in someone from your past, from your childhood, or maybe this is just somebody mutual, like a friend or a family member that you're helping or that's gonna need your help this month. So let's go ahead and see what the act action is going to be for this month. And then we're going to look at your overall challenge for the month. Okay, so we got the page of knives here. So you're going to be bringing the truth to this person. You're going to be showing them a truth about a matter, a truth about themselves, potentially. Three of Cups is here. You might run into this person at an event. Or maybe y'all will have some kind of like celebratory situation once whatever this challenge that you're going to be helping them get over. It's going to be celebration. 
page of page of pentacles with the seven of knives here at the bottom of the deck so it's like it's multiple children here too though it's multiple younger people energy it's almost like you're you're going to be mentoring people or teaching people in a public eye for an event or a celebration so let's see what your overall challenge is still a lot of minor arcana the only major thing out here is your energy the star so let's see what your overall challenge is aquarius for the month of february 2023 this card is representing your overall challenge and it's the queen of swords somebody who's very stern about the truth and what's just right somebody who doesn't want to play any games this energy is what you probably this energy is your overall challenge this is what it's saying and it's hovering over your energy the star card so i feel like people see you as somebody very very truthful and honest and you you might be put in some positions where you're really going to have to exuberate that quality out be outspoken about the truth even if it might hurt someone else we have the will of fortune at the bottom of the deck so it could be some karmic things that you might be teaching someone this could be a karmic assignment for you this mentorship whatever this person is that needs help this is also a karmic lesson for you to pass a small test that you will have to pass as well so this last card is going to be symbolizing the solution to whatever issue this challenge is presenting another younger energy page of cups you've literally had all the pages started off with a page and the solution is a page too page of cups Something could also have something to do with twins. Definitely children in the mix, but something could do with a particular set of twins, or maybe you might be a twin and you'll be having to work with your sibling on something, or there's something to do with twins here, but like actual biological twins. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards to see if there's anything else coming out that we can get more clarity on. I'm not really seeing anything major. This looks like day-to-day -day life, but also you in a position of authority, you you teaching, you being in a public eye, you um, giving back to someone that might be in need, potentially working for the government or doing something with the government. So let's clarify, why is the Queen of Swords here as the overall challenge for Aquarius for February spirit. Why is the Queen of Swords here for the overall challenge? At the Four of Pentacles. There's a lot of Pentacles out here too. So you might be in a position where you're going to have to make some clear cut decisions about your finances. You've got a lot of Pentacles out here. Twelve Pentacles. Again, there's the number twelve. You got the six of pentacles, four of pentacles, with the two of pentacles. Then you got two sixes. Some of you might even be going to get some type of federal loan for maybe an agency that you're doing or creating. It looks like that probably is going to come out in your favor. That the nine of swords, it could cause you a lot of anxiety. There's something dealing with money here that you're going to have to be truthful and face it. Or pay attention to what's happening with the money. Follow the money. It just hurt that. So if you are working to solve problems for an organization or something, whatever challenge that they bring in you in there for has something to do with finances and money. Government money. Page of Wands with the Lovers under the deck.
compassion and communication. Making clear cut decisions, not taking any shortcuts. So I think for you, Aquarius, this has a lot to do with finances. Let's see why this um, Three of Cups is out here. Why is the Three of Cups out here for action? What is the Three of Cups doing out here for action, Spirit? The Hierophant. Contracts. Obligations. Agreements. Legal situation. But it's the Three of Cups is, is also here, too. So it, this could also, it could be a wedding, some type of formal ceremony. Five of Pentacles. So this this looks like it could have something to do with contracts or some formal agreement about something. But a decision has to be made about what path to take. More pentacles, page of pentacles, knight of pen pentacles. And the lovers again, yeah. Someone's really going to have to be careful about what they decide to do. Somebody could also be considering proposing, giving a marriage proposal to someone in the goal of leveling up economically like marrying for money but there's definitely some type of major event that you're either going to be attending or a part of or there's going to be this major agreement with someone a contract could be with the agency it could have something to do with the government but there's also a set of twins here and um somebody could be going through a ceremony of adopting a child somebody who is in need five of pentacles someone who might have been left out of the cold an orphan adoption is here going to court signing paperwork for conservatorship and adopting a child foster parents that type of energy is here So let's see what the Five of Swords is talking about. There's the Seven of Cups, which is Five of Swords over here on this side. What is that? Someone doing due diligence to make sure that everything is clean about someone before they approve them of being able to adopt or something. Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, whatever they're trying to figure out bad and negative is not working. It's not going to work. Because you're very stable and dependable, or this person you're dealing with is very stable and de dependable and just fine how they are. Got the Knight of Wands. So passionate movement. Somebody really wants what this agreement is over here. They really, they're doing any and everything to move forward and get what they want in this situation. The King of Wands, yeah. Somebody could be in the process of adopting twins or become a foster parent of twins. Six of Wands is here too. So triumph, approval, being successful in your endeavors. And then you got the Wheel of Fortune out here too. So this is someone's karma. This is somebody's karmic assignment. Someone has agreed to do whatever this is in a cosmic contract before they even incarnated here. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. Not every chapter within a reading is going to apply to you. Because there's multiple stories here. But it looks like somebody is in the position to um, be assigned to do some type of charitable work potentially mentoring a child or giving back to a whole set of children or a community 
feeling like they have to balance their time, energy, and resources to get it done. But Spirit is saying, we've given you everything, you, all the tools that you need to get this done. Don't fall into the illusion that you can't do it. And then over here, this is someone who is actually in the mentorship process or in the teaching aspect of what they're doing going through the process of approvals for whatever this event is, whatever this contract is, potentially with the federal agency or a government or with a program, an adoption agency, something like that. Um, then we got another six of cups here talking about this person or friend that you might be mentoring or helping. If you're in that part of the story, they're coming here and it could be that they are from your past and you're going to have to be truthful about your finances and watch your money and your time and your resources and how you spend it. Spirit might say to slow down on your spending. Don't over exhaust yourself, but you're in a good position. You don't have to have anxiety about anything regarding that. Those of you that are going for federal agency, um, or in a federal funding for a business or for a home or anything like that, it looks like it's going to come out fine. We will be victorious. But there are there is a set of twins here might, that might be going through an adoption process, or someone might be going to court to become a foster parent or adopt someone. But your energy is out here too, Aquarius. And it looks like a lot of people are watching you. And then they admire you and what you're doing. So I would just say, keep doing the work. And keep trusting your angels, your guide, your higher self to lead you in all truth. Okay, if you found any value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, this is a collective general reading. Not every chapter is going to resonate with you. But if you do share it, hopefully someone can get something out of it. It really helps the channel when you do that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Shalom.